Hi there! Nice that you're watching this Tools for Dummies tutorial about making the meme in Photoshop 2021. This is the meme that we're going to make and it's, uh, it's a classic meme uh, like uh, you saw them a couple of years ago. What's nice about this meme is that we can teach you some basic Photoshop skills with it. I'm going to teach you how to cut out an image and place it onto a new layer, then provide it with a new background and last of all, add the text. One thing you will need for that is the impact font that you will find on Blackboard. So download it and install it on your computer so you can make use of it in this meme. Well, let's go to Photoshop. The first thing you will see when opening Photoshop is this screen. So let's make a new document with a width of 1000 pixels and also a height of 1000 pixels. So it will be a square. The resolution can be a screen resolution. So 72 pixels an inch and the rest you can leave as is. Or well, at least make sure that the background contents are transparent. And that the pixel aspect ratio is square pixels. Now you can click on create and there we have our transparent square. The first thing we need to do is import an image. In your case, your photo. So that's what we are going to do. Go to File, Place Embedded, so not Place Linked, because then you will have an external file and we just want to have it into your Photoshop file. And search for the picture that you want to use. In our case, this one. Click on Place. And there you will have it. Well, it's not filling the entire screen, so we need to scale it up. Therefore, hold down your Option or Alt key, Option on Mac and Alt on Windows, and drag from one of these corner squares until the image fits the screen. And then to make it look like the one we've made before, we'll have Malus sit in the middle and then scale it up a little bit more. And this should be about it. Make it a little bit smaller. There. To finish this, press enter. And now we can cut out Malus from this image. The tool that we're going to use for that is the object selection tool and it's new. You can also do it with the quick selection tool and then make uh, uh, this uh, selection. That will also work very well, especially, especially when you have uh, a very clean background. This is not a clean background. So we will see what the ob object selection tool will do. Um, yeah, if you get this message, could not complete your request because no layers are selected. Press OK and then select the layer in your layers panel and then drag a square around your main subject, in this case Malus, and then we will see what Photoshop will make of this selection. Well, this is a fairly good uh, selection as, sh as you can see. Well, of course, this uh, our laptop is missing, so we will add that by using the quick selection tool and then uh, just paint from within this selection to the new part. And there you see that it will also take the laptop with it. Then click and drag for the last parts, zoom in a little bit, and then make sure her shoulders are complete there and you can see this is quite difficult because uh, Malusa's hair is almost the same color as the background so it will also take a little bit of that with it if that happens to your image there's always the option or uh, alt key and then you can hold it down and you will see that the um, the little plus sign in your uh, mouse pointer is changing into a minus and then you can just click and drag and remove war whatever you do not want into your selection. Um, well, the case here is that it will remove a little bit too much. So let's 
add it back in. And this will never be a perfect uh, selection, but that's that's not that's not a problem. Okay, so here there was also a little bit too much in the selection, so let's delete that and add back her hair there and well this is quite a good selection i think let me see over here yeah well th th this will be a little problem but let's clean this up and then let's make a mask of this so we can always go back into it um, when we are not so, well when we are not happy with our selection and then we can improve it some more so click on this add layer mask icon and you will see that it will cut out the background and we will be left with this selection so now what we can do now is add a new background and there are several ways to do it. You can make use of the brush tool over here to paint uh, a new background or make use of the, uh, the pen tool like you uh, maybe did before with Illustrator and then add something new. But you can also import complete Illustrator files. And that's the first thing that I'm going to do. So I've made a new background in Illustrator because that's just easier than working in Photoshop. And we will place it onto the background. So make sure that you will um, have nothing selected over here and then go to file, place embedded again and then choose a background that you've made in Illustrator, like this one. Click on place, this is OK, click on OK and you will see it end up over here. It's not entirely square as I see now. So I can scale it up a bit, so it will fill up the entire screen, press enter, and then you will see that it will, um, that it's on the foreground, but we want it to be on the background. So click and drag it below the other layer, so it will be on the background. There you have it. Well, we can see now that the uh, selection is not that perfect, but we can always click on it and then click on the selection arrows and then drag it down a little bit so it will be a little bit less obvious that it's not the best selection that we could make well then we can scale it up a little bit and sometimes you need to zoom out a little bit for that so you will see the transform controls again and then make her a little bit bigger and drag it a little bit to the top there this will be fine. Now we need to add two layers for the text. So let's make a new layer with this button. The plus. There we have it. And we can give it a name. Text one. So you can still you can just so you can just double click on the text layer name and then rename it. And then use the type tool to the horizontal type tool to add some text um, it's a little bit small so you can use these controls to make it bigger and change the font to impact And then type your text in capitals. In our case it was, well, let me laugh about it. On top of the screen. Well, let me laugh about it. There, and then try to place it in the middle. And make it a bit bigger again. Or you can just use the resize controls, but make sure that you hold down your option or alt key to leave it in the middle. Well, the text is now 
in white. So obviously when it touches the white, you cannot read it. That's why we're going to add uh, a black border around it by clicking with your right mouse button on the text layer, then choosing blending options, and then add a stroke like over here. And now it will make it a white stroke. So the white letters will be even wider. Change the color into black by clicking on this one and choosing black over here. And then you can already see that this is much better. Well, then you have the choice to uh, change uh, the size of the stroke. So you can make it a bit fatter. Or you can just leave it on three or four points. Then click OK. And if you want to, you could make a duplication of this layer by Ctrl C and Ctrl V or Command C, Command V. And then you will have a copy of it. You can place it over here and change the text again into <laughs> like a farmer with a toothache. Well, that's good English. It's a, it's a Dutch saying that was translated very badly into English. Let's make this a little bit smaller so it will fit into our meme. There. And then give it a nice placing. So the space between the bottom and the right and left side will be even. There, and that's how you make your meme. I have one extra tip for adding a new background and that is uh, something within Photoshop, you can make use of the um, custom shape tool that you have over here. If you click on it, you can see a tree appearing over here. And that's where you need to be for um, the, the custom shapes that Photoshop has in it. You can just open up these folders and then you will see the, uh, the pictures appearing. <laughs> if you... Uh, if you've made a meme about boats, then you could maybe, well, fill up the background with all these boats, um, icons, then give them a nice color and uh, make a nice background with that. Um, but if you take a look at our old meme, you can see that it has these uh, stripes on the background. And I think that was still in Photoshop 2018 or 2019, but they removed it and um, they, they, they are not showing up when you open this uh, menu for the first time. But they are still there. What you need to do is go to a window and then shapes, and then it will open up this shapes. And you can see over here that I already have them, the legacy shapes and more, because I added them in. To do this, you go to this button, open it up, and then click on Legacy Shapes and More. And, okay, well, it added them for a second time, so let me remove them. You can do that if you want to. But if you open it up, then you can see that it has all these different folders. And within the folders, you will have some extra uh, icons, shapes, and um, the ones we're looking for are under the tiles. So here we have the stripes that we were looking for. So now it added them. And what you can do then is go over here and select it from this drop down menu. So open up the legacy shapes and more and go down to all legacy default shapes and then to the tiles and select this tile. And then we can go over here add a new background and maybe delete the old one or make it invisible by clicking on the eye and then click and drag until you will see this appearing and if you want to make it perfectly square you can always hold down the shift so not the option because then it will make it huge <laughs> hold down shift and then release the buttons when you're over here and then you can see that it it, ha it that it made these white stripes well we can make 
an extra background layer by choosing this option again and then rename it to background color maybe I can rename this to stripes so I can immediately see what layer that is and the background color we can change maybe to a nice blue again uh, by making use of the shapes so go into the custom shapes make a rectangle change the fill color well the stroke I would disable the stroke by clicking on it and then choosing none then click on the fill layer again and choose a nice color in this case this blue one and then just drag a square and we have a nicely filled background now I can also change the color of the stripes and I think the stripes yeah I can already see it the stripes have these uh, they're filled with white and have a black border that's because we have a fill color of white over here and a black stroke but now we can disable the stroke there and you can see that it now has no stroke anymore and and of course you can also select that layer and then go to the shape again and then click on the fill to change the color of this so maybe an orange is nice blue and orange always fit well together click on ok and then you can see that it will change the color of that so that's how you do it the last step is to save your meme so go to file and then save as and then choose a nice location for it first of course give it your own name and your class meme one and then uh, the class you're in maybe this one then save your meme and you can just click on OK with this one but you also need to save it as a JPEG or a PNG so to do that again go to file then save as and then change the format from Photoshop into JPEG or PNG if you choose JPEG then also make sure that when you click on save that you will also uh, make sure that the quality is at its max then click on OK and we can see that it has saved it as a PSD and a JPEG and now you're ready to hand it in